Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia with Raindrop Lila and today I decided to try something a little bit different for my Trashy Tuesday series. I decided to make a glue book and I'm using a lot of just magazine pages, a lot of um, repurposed pages and I want to kind of do a lot of like collaging type of work in this journal. I've done a lot of collaging in the past when I was younger. Gosh, that was probably maybe 20, 30 years ago. That's kind of what where I started with crafting. I would do a lot of collaging, like an art style collaging where you just uh, collage different pieces and then you can also use words and you can also journal on top of that. Um, so that's kind of where, what I was thinking with this. I'm using a, um, some craft cardstock for the cover and then I have my signatures here which I'd like to uh, basically sew in. I have my twine ready and I've also been um, cutting out different pieces from magazines. I started with I think it was a Vogue magazine um, but I'm not sure. I can't remember what magazine it was but I started with a few different magazines and I'm really kind of gravitating to like the fashion um, end of it. Basically, that's kind of what I did when I was young. I used to do a lot of um, collaging with fashion images and I was really inspired by some of these. And so I thought, let me make a glue book and um, just kind of go from there, kind of uh, play around with that idea. I have my signatures. On some of them, I already started to kind of glue some pieces down like this, but there, it's just a little bit of work in there. It's not that much. And then I thought, okay, let me put them together. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the back with the last page first. And I'm basically going to just stitch this and let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to use this first because some of the pages and the cover is quite thick. Okay. I'm thinking actually that I don't want to tie it on the inside so I'm going to go ahead and pull it through and I think I want to tie it on the outside and then cover it up because since I'm doing a lot of collage work and like artwork I think I want this to be um, I don't want to have the ties hanging out I think on this one so I'd love to hear, I know most of my followers are, um, they make journals, but I'd love to hear if you guys also make glue books or if you guys also like to do collaging like this. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been wanting to get started because I feel like it's such a inspiring, um, way to create when you're just kind of like collaging and I feel like sometimes it's like mindless because you're just cutting and just gluing things down but um, definitely I know it also takes a lot of thought process so if you wanted to make something um, with more meaning of course you're gonna be kind of thinking that through but a lot of the work can also be really, really, um, where you're just kind of like creating and not really thinking too much about it. 
At least that's how I feel. I feel like you kind of zone, I feel like I kind of zone out when I'm creating. And I just kind of go with uh, pages or pieces that are really inspiring to me or I really am drawn to. And the interesting thing is I'm never really sure why I'm drawn to it. So now I've been kind of thinking about it. Like, why do I like this uh, particular image? And what does it kind of say to, to me? Like, what's that message or what's the connection that I have with it? I don't know if that makes sense, but I've been really trying to analyze um, that, kind of asking those questions when I'm working with collaging or different pieces, because I think that different pieces or images have a different impact for different people. And so I think about that a lot, like what do I love about this and why do I love it? Or why do I not like something that, you know, maybe somebody else does, if that makes sense. And I know everybody's unique and I think that's why it's so interesting to me. I think I'm going to start with my first um, page now to make sure I kind of um, space them somewhat better than if I just kind of go with the flow. Okay, so I think that it's, um, I, I don't know if I remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about how things and images have different effects on us or we have like a different reaction to them. And so that's been really interesting to me. So I think that's what I'm gonna do when I do my collaging. I'm going to be thinking about, um, first I'm just gonna pull out images that I, I like and I'm drawn to. And then I think I'm going to think about what those images can mean maybe to me or why I'm drawn to them. I will be thinking about that. Although maybe sometimes you just like an image just because you like it, right? But um, I'm gonna try to analyze that a, l a little bit at least. And I think it'll be interesting to see Um, so yeah, I think it'll be a fun project to work in. And I've noticed I've, I've actually cut out different pieces from different magazines. And I've noticed that I really, really enjoyed the fashion magazines a lot, a whole lot more. And the pieces, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe it's because um, I just love photography and I love some of the images from the fashion magazines. So those are kind of my favorites that I started working with, but I also have other images that are really cute. So now I'm thinking, we'll see how I use them, but I, I cut some of those out too. But, um, but yeah, so this one I'm thinking I want to use more like for some fashion type of photography, but we'll see where it goes from here. And then I also am including backgrounds, how you, um, you know, how you have a magazine page and then the background is faded. Um, I'm going to be using some of those and I love that. I love using um, those images as backgrounds or as um just to add a little interest or a background to a page. And I'm also going to be using a lot of, um, I think I'm going to use a lot of print because I think that's really cool background. And again, I feel like it has a really fashion look to it. And so I think it'll be really cool to layer over those. So, yeah.
Okay, so here's the last one. And I cut the strings shorter because I realized that I am i don't need them long because I'm just going to... I'll probably end up covering them. Okay, so here's my journal. And it's made of just magazine pages and just recycled... Um, papers. Okay, so now I'm going to flip a little bit through it and I'll talk about what I've done so far and I hope it inspires you guys if you guys want to make something similar. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about how I made this journal. I basically chose my papers and I tried to kind of have them in an order so that I have like a magazine page and then like an old type of paper page or um, something matte, if that makes sense. And so here's my magazine page and then here's an old book page. This is some, um, I think this is drawing paper and then I have the graph paper. Okay, so that was kind of the idea of the way I mix my papers in. I wanted to have a mix of old and then magazine pages. Here I found this title, I guess, and I like the way it looked and it says take over. So I just tore it out and I glued it on here. Um, I'm not sure where, what the meaning of this is. I just thought it looked cool. So I added, I, I added it here. I also like the contrast between the black and the white background. And this is just kind of how I start. I just kind of glued down words and images and I will keep adding to it until I am I think it's finished. Okay, here I love the background of the ocean. So that's what I used here. I'm not sure what I'll use on this page, but um, I also love the colors, the way they go. This teal blue that's really soft and this um, pale yellow. Here I added just a background, kind of a corner strip from a magazine and it has this brick it's like a wall and it has the roses climbing up and I just think that's so pretty so I just tore that out and add I and I added it there um I was also gonna um kind of share with you guys what I did this was actually an image in a magazine of a horse and then there is like this field behind it and I just cut out the horse and the horse is really, really dark. You can barely even see its eyes. So I just cut it out so it looks like a silhouette. And then I thought, how cool would it be if I cut, if I traced around this and I cut out like a background picture of it. So that's what I did here. I cut out, um, this is like a field, right? So I cut, I traced the horse onto the field and I cut it out. And I think that looks so cool. I mean, that could even work right there, right? We'll see how I use them, but I thought that was a cool um, idea. Okay, and let's see what else. Here's another um, image that I liked. I like the color. I like the flower. So I just kind of cut off the edge and I can journal here or collage some more. But I like the way the colors looked. Okay. Again here, this was, this is actually another um, edge of a page that I tore out. This is probably from some clothing magazine, like a catalog. And I like the color. I like this, I don't know, it's like a rose color. And so I just tore it and I glued it here. And it's a great way to start a background for collaging using like pieces like this. Like you can go like this. That kind of looks good there, right? And so I could keep collaging on top of this. Okay, I have, again here, I love the black page. And so I added this, um, the title, Gallery Night. And I like the contrast between the white and the black. I love the blue and the orange, or the teal and the orange. I think it looks so cool. This is from my 
This is just some um, junk mail that came in my mailbox, but I like the I like the way the paper felt. The paper feels um, it's very matte and it just has a cool weight to it. And I also like the lined um, the lined pages. So you can journal on this. And then this part, I can actually cover it up or just collage on it, right? Okay, I have this image here with the hummingbirds. <clears throat> okay, this image I absolutely love. If you guys um, have kind of been following me for a while, my husband and I used to do photography and I love this image when I saw it in the uh, magazine. I love the composition. I love the contrast between the background or the ground, the concrete and then her red coat and how it's kind of flowing. I think it's such a great image. I love it. And I also like, I like the way it looks with this page, with the writing. I feel like it, it works so well. So I decided not to cut it and use it as a, as collaging as of yet. I thought I'm just gonna add it to my journal as a whole page for now. I might add more to it later, I'm not sure, but for now, I just love this layout, the way it looks together. I have some grid paper in here also, and I think this image right here looks really good with the grid. I think it looks so cool. Okay. Then I have this muse print type of page. I have this really cool book that I found it's called Flash Art and it has a lot of, I used a lot of pages from here and it has like art type of pages. And then it also has like newsprint style pages. And I think they are gonna be so great to use in like a glue type of book or in a journal. And then it has a lot of really cool font. So I pulled out a lot of um, papers from here to use. Okay. Okay. Here's another layout. I just went ahead and worked on. I love this image. I love the tweets that she's wearing. Um, this reminds me of like 1990s also, what she's wearing. Um, and I just love the image. I think it's really cool. And so I cut her out and obviously the magazine is larger, right? And so I cut part of her hat off and part of her boots and I layered her over this music sheet. And I think it looks really cool with the music, um, the notes coming through. I think that's really cool. but. As I work through this journal, just because I I feel like it's it's a good start, but I might add to it, okay? And then on this side, I like the brick background and that little lamp that looks so cool and with the flowers. Anyways, I thought this would work well with this, okay? So, and then here I have, I added a little flip out and um, I used a junk mail envelope and I just taped it down with some um, masking tape. Okay, and that's kind of the start of my glue book journal and I'll be using this for um, different pieces. Anyway, so here are some of the pieces that I already cut from a magazine and I can show you. Okay, so this image right here was of a lady holding some flowers in her purse and I love the way it looked. So I cut just her, just her hand and the purse out. Okay. And I have this image and I cut her out. I thought she looked really cool. She's got her eyes closed. She's almost kind of lost in the moment. So this would be a great image for kind of like journaling your thoughts or something deep, I think. Then I have this one. I think she's so cool. I almost want to say that this kind of works with this page. See, 
Um, I like how strong she looks, but I also love the way, so the way the image was, her hair, you can't see it that much, but it gives you the illusion that it's kind of blowing in the wind. So now I'm thinking, what do I want to do to work with this? I can add her to a page. I'm not sure what page. Maybe something, I love print on the background, so maybe I do something like this, but I'm thinking to add hair that kind of is blowing in the wind. I'm not sure yet, but that's kind of my inspiration for this. Or I could just, um, I can also go on a, on a simple background and I can have journaling space right there or just write a title. So either way, either one would work, but I love that her hair is kind of like blowing or it gives you the illusion it is, like a few pieces were, right? Okay, now what else? I love this one. I think it's so cool. I love polka dots and I love that she's wearing glasses, sunglasses. And I also love her pose. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it, but I think it's cool. I also have this perfume bottle and I cut the top off so that it's just like a square. So now I can journal on top, layer something on top because now it's just basically like a pink little square or like a pink frame. Okay, what else do I have? I have this piece, the art newspaper. I like that title, so I I cut that out or tore it out. Okay, so this is a, actually a couple different pieces and I actually love the way it turned out. I love the background with this font. I love the way this font looks and it says February through March 1991. And originally I cut out this car and this car was on like a gray looking background and it looked like it was in the rain. And then this part was underneath like the reflection. So I cut out this car and then I cut out the reflection, right? And then I thought, what if I put it on here and I have them kind of like, um, almost like mirror image, but they're not. It looks like they're driving one one way and one the other. And I thought that kind of represent like the past and then the future. And I think that the idea is really cool because the past even though it's gone, you kind of have the memory of it. You know what is in the past. So I like the fact that this one is sharper. And then the future is kind of unknown. And then you see how it's blurred because it was the reflection of the original image. So I thought that would be a really cool idea. And then, I, well, I glued them down and that was initially my thought. And then I found her and I cut her out. And then I thought, well, what if I glue her in the middle so that she kind of represents now and then this is the past and then this is the future. So that was kind of my thought behind this. I'm not sure where I'll put it, but that was just one piece of um, kind of one, one collage that I did and kind of my thought process behind it. Okay. And then I cut her out. I'm not sure how I'm going to use her but I like it. I like the way her hair is kind of blowing everywhere and she's kind of looking back. And then I like that it says Mademoiselle on there. Okay, and then let's see what else I have. I have the number 17. That's a great little piece to use. Then I have, I was also gonna share with you guys this idea of using, you can cut out any type of piece from a magazine, right? So this peachy pink color was actually um, more of her shoulder, like down here somewhere, right? And I thought, I'm just gonna cut out a, a heart and I can even layer some, like the, this title on there. And so this can go anywhere in a journal and that could be, you know, that could be meaningful. That can tell a story also. And then I think I mentioned the horses, how I, how, how I um, cut out the horses and you can like I can um, glue them down like this like that looks pretty cool but usually I keep going and keep looking kind of through my journal for a place to glue them down right but then you can also go like this and I love the way that looks too 
right? And I love, I got some glue on here, but I love the way um, the contrast between the book page and then like the image, especially if the image is really strong and bold like this, like this is like a silhouette. I think it looks so good against the, against the um, print, okay? Then I have this that I also cut out. I think that's pretty. I love this one right here. Okay, so I can show you guys a few more ideas. I'm hoping this inspires you guys. If you guys are planning to do a, a type of glue book journal, um, I tore this page from the magazine. I love her dress. And so I can cut her out. But not only that, how pretty is that? Isn't that just beautiful? I love that wallpaper. Okay, so that's another option. I liked this image, even though it's like the back of her. I love the colors in here. I don't know how I'll use it, but I just tore it out because I like it. Then I love, I love the doors. I think those are pretty with the curtains. So I tore those out also. And then always check for um, titles and words. Those are great for using in a, in a glue book too. I also love this door with all those flowers. Those are so pretty. I also like this one. I love the way she's standing there. Like you can just cut her out, right? I like this one. I love her coat. And again, you can just cut around her and then just tell a story. And whenever I use an image of a lady or model, I always think um, it represents like kind of you or your thoughts. It kind of gives you an image of a person, right? So that's, I love to use people in my, um, in my collages and in my uh, journals. Okay, so this I cut out for the artwork. I think it's so pretty. Isn't that beautiful? So that's why I cut that out. But this is pretty too. I mean, you can definitely use her also. Then I have this one and like this is pretty. I could use this, but I kind of like this better. I love the words too. The eyes are the interpreters of the soul. Isn't that pretty? And that's a cute image too. And then I have like, I have this uh, magazine that I could use also. I didn't really look through that one yet. I have this one that I can use. And then I also have this one. Isn't that cute? I'm not sure how I will use this one. I cut out some pieces, but um, I kind of am going more into this style where it's really, um, I'm using a lot of fashion magazine stuff. That's, I feel like that's kind of my direction for now. And I have all these pieces too. Like I cut out super, the secrets of, these are great like, inspirational pieces golden hour and they can either either title your um collages or they can give you inspiration of which way to go or what to write pay less get more something like this you can cut out each word and make your own um message i'm just keeping them together because the colors i want to it'll be easier for me to work with them together Playing favorites, cool and collected. So I have so many different pieces. I think that I really enjoy just cutting all the pieces out. 30 years of commitment, isn't that cool? Um, my husband and I have been married for over 30 years. So I like that. United to help. I think this is interesting what he writes because um, whoever the wrote the article, at first I wondered, can I work outside my comfort zone? But finally I decided to stop overanalyzing it and just have fun with it. I think that this quote is so, so good for creating, especially when you're creating a journal and doing collaging. Um, I think that that's really important in our kind of creative process to just enjoy creating so 
So I like this part. We're looking forward to victory. We have no doubt. Th those are like great words that I could cut out and use in my own journaling. There's a word, another word, and I think I have the also. So you can do the end for the last pages, maybe, or your last page. Okay, rooms of her own. Wishing, waiting, hoping. Lessons, history. Moves. So I think that those are great words for inspiration, especially for like, if you're thinking of making like a piece that means something. Um, I love to use words for things like that pure love for people. And then here, um, this was either, I don't know, it's just a design on a page and I just cut it into a heart. Isn't that cute though? And then you can add like words on top of it. So don't forget that, that you can always just cut your shape out of the magazine page. Here I cut this piece. I love the texture. And this could be like a little corner. It just can kind of like give you a background for your pieces, right? This one says lost time. Isn't that great? I love that. I mean, I don't like losing time, but I feel like it's really deep. <laughs> okay, nostalgia. Look at this, remembrance. And you got to realize that when you're going through a magazine, I think it's so cool because you will have some really, really cool um, pieces. I mean, people pay a lot of money for those photo shoots and for those advertisements. So you, you're you already working with um, pieces that an artist created, right? And so like cutting those pieces out and then you can go from there and make your own artwork. Okay, the here and now. Oh, I found my name. Isn't that funny? I found my name Lydia in one of the magazines. So of course I cut it out. Then I found this little design. This is very like, I feel like it's very modern. And so it's not totally my style, but I cut it out anyways, because sometimes it's good to like move out of your style and just try some new different things. So um, sometimes I will do that. I will cut things out and consider it a challenge and just work with it. Okay, summer, the secrets, the real world, the best, portrait of bravery, king of the city, learn more, happy days, that's summer. So see, I just, I love using words like this. I think they are great. You can use them for tags also in your journals. You can use them for all kinds of things. Okay, this actually, this wasn't from a magazine. I just realized this is from um, some junk mail. And the envelope feels so good. It has like such a like soft, smooth texture. It feels like silk. So I kept it. Actually, my husband gave it to me. He's like, you want it? And I was like, yes, it's really cool. So I got that one too. And then I have some more pieces. I hope this inspires you guys so that when you guys go to um, cut pieces out, you'll you'll kind of have an idea what to start with. I have a flower. I got this Smokey the Bear. Isn't that cute? I grew up with Smokey the Bear, so I think it's really cute. It's just such a nostalgic image for me. Factor, the road, I love. Um, images of a road and I love the words the title because it represent it can represent so much in a life right I have this with the tomato and the little grasshopper isn't that cute I have this because of the pink but also okay so this is okay so this is like a trifold right this could be covered up and you can make a little journal out of it right you just cover it up and turn it into a journal. So that's why I kept this also. And then I have the envelope that it came in. 
I have this piece. Isn't that pretty? The ocean. So technically you can just, you know, go like this, right? And just layer on top. So I have this and then I have that too. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay. So those were just a few ideas. Um, and I hope that they inspire you guys and that you make a glue book also and fill it up and just are creative with it. I'm really excited to work in this journal um, creating and I feel like it's such a fun way to craft and to do something um, kind of mindlessly. At least that's how I think. I, I will do a lot of this type of work while I'm watching a movie with my kids because I don't have to really think about it. Um, I'm just kind of cutting things and putting and just making a pile. That's kind of how I start. I cut everything out first and then I'll sit down and I'll glue stuff down. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.